Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Technical Specs. In this video, we are going to discuss about project structure of an Android app in Android Studio. In the last video, we discussed about how we can start the Android Studio project, how we can use an emulator or virtual device for our app. If you didn't watch that video, then I suggest you to watch that video first so that everything in this video you can understand properly. You can check the link of that video in the i tab and description of this video. So now let's start with this video. Here we have created our first app, my first application in the last video. Now let us discuss about the structure of this project. From the left side you can see all of these are important files under the android section right. So now from here select project. Basically this project is the main folder for our android app. In other words all the files which you are seeing here are related to the project itself. Okay. So here we are going to discuss about this app folder and greater folder in details. Now these two files are mainly important to know. Okay. In the app folder you can see here we have first build folder right and inside it we have different folders like generated intermediates outputs them when the android app completed and we want to build the apk for our android app then it would be present in this build folder okay second we have libs folder libs folder simply contains the third party library or files okay next we have so this folder contains all the codes written for this project okay inside it first we have android test so basically in this file we did write code for the test purpose okay and here in, inside the other test folder we write java code which is platform independent and emulator we can use that java code in any platform okay in the main folder we have java folder resource folder and one android manifest.xml file right let's see the first one which is java folder so friends here you can see Remember in the last video we have discussed about the package name, right? So here it is the package name com.example.myfirstapplication. So in this main activity, we have all the files which we write in Java, okay? Can be an activity or some other Java file as well. And this package name is responsible for holding all the code files. Okay. Below it we have resource folder in which you can see we have drawable layout meet map values. And XML, right? So, drawable folder consists all the images and assets we need in our app. Okay. Also, we could have stored images in this drawable folder. Next, we have layout folder. In other words, these layout files are simply design files which are required by the activity files. Like you can see here in the main activity, here we required a layout file which is activity main right and this activity main file is the layout file which is here okay this one is the layout file for this activity this main activity so simply means whenever we design the layout file will be present in this layout folder okay next we have map map in the map map we store all the icons and assets which are required for the app in this one map map hdpi is for bigger devices right Similarly, map map acts HDPI is for larger devices, and this map map MDPI is for the medium devices, and so on. Okay. Below it, we have values folder. Inside it, we have three files: colors.xml, strings.xml, and themes.xml. So, in colors.xml, we can set the value of the color which we are going to use in our app. Okay. Like the first one, you can see here. The hex code is hex ffbb 86 fc and the primary code is purple 200. Here next we have strings.xml. Here we do same like as color file, only the value will be any string value instead of hex code, right? In the color we use the hex code and in the string we use strings instead of hex code. Next we have themes.xml. So here we simply design theme or any widget. So here you can see we have used the color color slash purple underscore 500 okay? and this is basically content the color this and this is coming from the side 
color dot xml for all 500 you can see here in the color dot xml file we have this color code right for all 500 okay in the same here we are using purple 500 and it reflect this color exactly same which we are using in this color dot xml similarly below we have purple 700 purple 700 you can find here purple 700 and the color is this x code is this double f three seven double zero b3 you can find here the same 3700b3 3700b3 right so this is all about the resource folder now we have one more file here below which is android manifest.xml let me open it so android manifest.xml file is the main component file of any android app okay android manifest file will have a reference of all the activities which we will add in our app okay like here you can see we have only one activity in our app dot main activity right if in our app we create another activity the reference of that activity will be here as well here on top you can see android icon right and this is coming from the meet map folder you can see here it is coming from the meet, meet map folder to check it simply enter control b double click on this now you can see this icon which is present in the meet map folder okay the same icon is for is now for our app inside it we have android level and this level is coming from the string file which is app name and inside the string file what we have app name and the value is my first application so level is uh, responsible for naming our android app in any app sometimes we have to accept or deny permissions right like it can be like it can be camera permissions like it can be storage permission so to add permission in our android app we write it here in the android manifest file above the application tab let's say we have to add permission of camera in our android app so for that we would have to write here like users and then permission and now here you can simply enter camera so now it is suggesting to me that just enter and now just close it so this is how we can add any permission in our android app simply i add a camera permission for now there are many there are many specific permission available in android studio we will discuss about all in our later videos so now our first app folder is done and the second file which uh, which is very important to know is build.gradle file so let me open it so this build.gradle file is basically responsible for converting all of our code into an application okay it also stores all the information required for the app so now let's discuss about it very first we have you can see the package name then below it we have compile sdk 32 right so simply this is compile sdk version which is 32 below it we have some default configurations application id which is basically which is basically the package name then we have minimum sdk which is 22 it means it will work from lollipop and above simply this is the version code below it we have target sdk 32 then we have version code 1 and then version name 1.0 so simply this is the version code of our android app and this is the version name of our android app which we which we are working on okay then we have build types and then compile options and then dependencies we have nothing to do with these build types and compile options these are by default okay inside the dependencies we simply add all of our different libraries which will required for our android app okay 
here these are the android by default libraries so to add any library we just have to enter an implementation implementation and inside this single code just pass or enter the library and this is how we add a library in our build.gradle file so to use android studio more effectively we use android tab okay here you can see all the files and folders are available to use in a proper way like this one it is, is our java files and this one is our resource file and at first we have the manifest file right also below we have build gradle files as well so friends that's all in this video in this video we have discussed all the basic structure of an android app in details in our next videos we will start coding in android studio and we'll discuss all the fundamentals in details so friends if you find this video helpful then like this video if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel and for notification of our upcoming videos hit the bell icon thank you